The field manager can be accessed at any time either when performing an operation or from the Precision High Q home screen. The field manager will display information related to the selected field and provide the user the ability to make adjustments to existing guidance lines, boundaries and point, line and area features. To open the field manager, press the icon on the left hand side of the display. The field manager consists of five tabs across the top of the page. The first tab is the field overview which will display information such as field area, productive area, non-productive area, as well as stating the active boundary and active guidance line. The guidance pattern tab will list any guidance lines that are created for the selected field. Guidance line will be represented with a white line whereas line sets will be represented by their assigned colour in the landmark library. The number of created guidance lines or line sets will be displayed in the patterns column. Selecting either AB guidance or line sets will provide further information. Guidance lines will be listed with their default name unless edited by the user. The default name will consist of the line type and the sequence number in which it was created. You can edit the name of a guidance line at any time. To do this, select the guidance line you wish to edit and press the name field. You can also change the assigned operation for a guidance line. This can be useful if you want to limit the number of swaths when using the cycle button on the run screen. The current active swath as well as any selected swath in the list will be displayed with a blue background to identify on the map. With a swath active, Features such as tram lines and access paths can be used which are covered in their own tutorial videos. You can also create a shift of the original swath by selecting shift. If the original swath you are trying to shift was created on an implement with a different application width, you will be prompted if you wish to move the swath by the net offset between the current implement and the original implement width. You can also manually enter in the distance you wish to move a swath left or right. Left or right is determined on the original A and B points created for that swath. You can also use the shift to here button which will shift the active swath to the current vehicle's position. The new swath created will be displayed along with its distance it was shifted from the original. The boundaries tab will display any boundaries associated to this field whether they are, cre they are created using the field boundary record option or the headland guidance pattern. Boundaries that are red and white dotted lines indicate that it is an active boundary. A boundary that is represented with a grey dotted line means it is an inactive boundary. Highlighting a boundary enables you to edit the name by pressing the name field, activating or deactivating that boundary, as well as resizing the boundary. To resize a boundary, highlight the boundary you wish to resize and press the resize option. Specify the distance you wish to expand or contract the boundary and press the tick. A new boundary will be created in conjunction with the original. The default name will be given that to represent the original boundary. The landmarks tab will display any point, line and area features that have been recorded and logged to this field. Selecting the desired point, line or area layer enables you to delete individual features. The task history tab will list any tasks that have been performed in this field and display associated coverage layers over a satellite image. Tasks will be grouped by their operation and can even be imported from other displays. If needed, you can edit the name of a task by simply attaching the task name. The task history will also display the current active task and can be a useful tool if performing operations at night in a field that are cut off into smaller segments. Zooming out will represent your current vehicle position and provide a visual of any coverage enabling you to see that the entire field has been covered.